My name is Faith Adenira. I'm one of the facilitators of um, Fire and Protection School of Ministry and um, one of the pastors in House of Healing Ministry. Uh, the purpose of this School of Ministry is that we are trusting God that the same grace, the same knowledge, the same impactation that we receive, we can also transfer it into the other people who can do the same or even greater than what we are doing. And the second thing that motivates us to begin this school of ministry is that there are so many people who are called by God, but they don't know what they are called to do and how to do it. And we believe that going through this training is going to make it's going to give them opportunity to know what God has called them to do and how to function effectively in their calling. My name is Blessing Adenero. I'm one of the uh, pastors in House of Healing School, House of Healing Ministry. Uh, one of the reasons why we want to establish this school of ministry is basically for impartation. Uh, we believe that the grace of God has to be transferred from generation to generation. I would believe that this will be a gift the precious people of God a platform to discover who they are in Christ, to be able to identify the purpose of God, to be able to ident identify the area of ministry that God has really called them into. And I love knowledge. And when it was announced, I felt I needed to go to this school. What I'm expecting from here is to increase my knowledge of God, have greater impartation, better my lot in the ministry God committed to my hands, particularly the marriage ministry, and to be able to be a good counselor, and to lead more people to Christ, and to prepare the young ones for their future life, and better the lives of my family too. So that is my expectation from this school. It's been a long time that I've continued to feel the call of God. I've continued to feel the doings of the Lord in my life. God has done so great many things. He has, he has taught me to walk in different ways. But there's that heart of wanting to know more of God. I know, yes, we do study, but when you're in a place where you are being taught, with other members, you're being taught with somebody who has been there before, because I can come and stand and, and teach a word. But when you are being directed and being shown the way how to do it, that felt in my heart. And it's, it's like Holy Spirit stirred up something in me, so much that I felt like anything. But I want to stand and say, if you don't know God, I can show you the way to know God. And that is more of me. And to and to teach the next generation and to walk according to the will of God. So I'm grateful that you've, you've allowed me to be in this school and I know the grace of God will take us through to their accomplishments. Hello, my name is Grace Yeba. Um, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I'm a full-time student. For me, starting uh, the Bible school is a bit of a challenge for me because I'm on my final year doing my degree in social work and I'm in my kind of really stressful time but I'm trusting God to carry me through. What I want to get from the School of Ministry is the knowledge of God, how to, how, how, how to have the knowledge of God, how to learn the Word of God and how to impact people on the Word of God and also as uh, uh, Pastor, uh, Brother <laughs> Uh, well, my brother said, uh, when you're among these people, when you're trying to explain God, sometimes you, you feel the time, you don't know what the answers to give to those people. When you're at work, you, some people may ask you questions, but if you don't have the basic knowledge of the Word of God, you don't know how to, 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 to answer it. So that is my expectation from the Bible school. I'll say the Lord has given this to me, I'll say, more than 10 years now. But um, due to some ups and downs, due to some obstacles, I have not been able to attend any Bible school. But thank God for God that um, an opportunity just came up now. And the uh, scripture that the Lord gave to me, like what I said 10 years ago, just the Lord just reminded me of it that, son, this is now the time for you to like 
going to the ministry. It's not as if I've not been doing it. I have been worshiping God, I've been serving God, I've been a Sunday school teacher, I've done all sorts of things, but I've not had the opportunity to attend the Bible, Bible ministry. So I believe this is an avenue for me to key in into the assignment that God has committed into my hands. I believe this is an opportunity for me to know how to be successful in ministry. And I believe this school of ministry is going to go a long way to help me. So that is my motivation. I have an assignment, um, a miracle going somewhere to happen. And I pray God will help me in Jesus' name. Amen. And I said, well, hang on. Um, I think it would be better for me to go through the School of Ministry so that one day, uh, in case I relocate and have to stay like in a rural place where there is like lack of spirituality, at least I'll have an idea of where to start. If you want to start like a local church group, and um, I won't be like lost. So that is my motivation for joining the School of Ministry. And also, when I joined the church, I've uh, noticed that the the, the men of God in this church are true men of God, and um, they, they uh, realize that they got so much to give. And uh, whenever they're preaching, I just look at them and say, I wish I could say the word the, the way they say it. But it's, it's, it, that shows the, the blessing and the gift that God has given to them. So that's uh, one thing I wanted to say. Secondly, um, for me, uh, during the, the school of ministry is, is something. Um, it's like it's a personal challenge. Uh, reason for that is um, is that I love the, the Lord, but sometimes I find hard to 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 be consistent in uh, in God thing, and that's one thing I want to to learn. And also um, be able to, to to preach the word, be able to share the word with my friends and anybody in my environment, and also with my family. I used to be, I used to have my, my wife and uh, my wife for, as my uh, only congregation. I used to preach to my wife when we, the, the, the first, the first uh, three, four years, and um, I used to open my Bible and preach to her in bed. And that's something that I don't do anymore. And I can see my spirituality is going down. We, and in fact, I love to be in church, but personally, I'm not, I'm, I, 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 I've been stuck there at some point. So it's a, that's the opportunity for me to go back to my Bible, to, to, to do assignments, to, to, to read my Bible. And that's one thing I know this school of ministry will, will, uh, will give me. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Adams. Um, first of all, I'll go to why I'm here today, or why I joined. Um, I'll probably say this started years ago. Um, I used to have this reoccurring dream that I used to find myself in a big congregation singing and people falling on their mountain. And, and I know recently I've been the, the fire of the Holy Ghost has been like really down spirit has been like not burning the way it should be burning. And when Pastor said made, uh, made the announcement about um, the Bible school, um, I said to myself, this is the time you really need to come closer to God. And because I have a ministry, I'm a member of the choir and and I know that if I know the Word of God better, I'll be able to impact people. I'll be able to influence lives positively. I'll be able to even tell my members or the way to go about things of God. Praise God. Hello. My name is Amoye Mieze. I just quickly want to share something. The particular reason why I joined First Pastor called me Bidemi and Sister Grace. But before then, something always makes me cry. And the only thing that makes me cry is what have I achieved if I am saved and my family are not saved? You know, um, Acts 16 31 said, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. 
you know, sometimes I call the pastor and I just cry to him that, God, pastor, what can I do? How can I be of help to my family if they are not saved? If I, God can be doing something in my life and he's not doing it in their life. When I started, it was really, really a struggle. Sometimes I'll ask me, how do we go about this? But, you know, one thing I always have at the back of my mind is, if God has led pastor to call me, definitely God has a plan for me. How can I go back to them? How can I talk them through if I myself doesn't really understand what it means to be saved? So when they said that, you know, the ministry is going to, in, the, the, the training is going to start fully, I just told myself, fine, I cannot pick up a phone and talk about Jesus and tell them about the wondrous things he has done. And I believe by God's grace, by the end of this, I'll be able to do that. I'll be able to save them. I'll be able to save the people around them. I'll be able to save people. I commit them into your hands, O God, that every word, Lord, that you have brought from this beginning, they will finish to the end in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray, O God, every satanic attack, every satanic discouragement, that may want to take them out of this school. Lord, I stand as an angel of God to this school. I rebuke and I reject them in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Lord, I decree and declare every plans of the enemy concerning every individual will not prevail in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray that the blessing of this commitment Lord, will be visible in their family and in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. At the end of this course, oh God, there shall be massive breakthrough Amen. and testimonies. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.